Hello there, this is Cookies. I have turned 65 of LA Arathea. And someone owns a motorcycle, I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's see. So, forest domes, prospects. All right. So, first off, we're trying to raid this with some birds. There's some amount of PD here, including the Storm General. <laughs> the birds can't kill him in one hit. <laughs> the guy routes with one HP. Couldn't kill the commander. Um, but these guys are routing, which is not, not our bird's favorite situation. Good, they routed. Alright. So we go ahead and take that. Um... Now I know there's some interesting fights in here. So we've got Patala and Pan. Alright, so we have a Dakini Thug. Uh, Air 3, Death 1, Blood 3. Fine Shield, Ring of Region. Going up against a Sage Thug. With the Vine Shield and Frostbrand. These tangle vines really messing this sage up as it tries to run away. Dakini with uh, 18 attack against, I mean, with tangle vines four defense, but 12 attack on the on the other end going into 20 defense. So fairly lopsided fight. Uh, there is some cold resist here too, so it can resist the frost brand, but it's just struggling with the astral shield. So, it'll wake up someday. There we go. Maybe? <laughs> it gets frozen again. There we go. Alright. Matter of time. And then, some horrors by Ulm to attack man. Two A1s. Alright. Then in Niffle, Patala and Pan going at it. Whole bunch, uh, like a little raiding party, but this is knights and barbarians. So I think these, even with the eating the lance charges on the monkeys, I think the heavy infantry are going to be able to punch through this. Is that PD? That is some nice PD. I'll tell you what. I think the Knights is probably a site where you can... Uh, it's like like a chapter. and They'll add to your PD as long as you don't put a fort there. Man versus Satis in the Grey Mercs. So we have a... Artifact wielding fire empowered golem, lifelong protection, boosted MR, elemental armor for resist, uh, fire gems for phoenix pyre, fire shield, astral shield, a lot of fun. On the flip side, a skelly spam communion. Okay. Just does those three and goes in. Now Ember is pretty cool because it does a Frostbrand attack, which isn't going to do anything against the Undead, but also does a Firebrand effect. Does both. So small area of Frost and Fire. Keeps the damages. Both are army 
Oh my goodness, both are armor piercing. So, has a 15 damage just main attack that gives excellent stat buffs, and then also has these AoE effects. Well, and then a bunch of stuff are going to kill themselves on it, and he's not going to get focused down too hard because he's got the lifelong protection. So, pretty fun little golem. It's also, uh, what's nice about it, it's not the most expensive kit in the world. So we're talking 20 gems, some blood slaves, 30 gems, 45 gems. Oh, I didn't see this. <laughs> the Callius, the Druid. Um, was that like 70 gems, 75 gems on a 30 gem chassis? So we're talking, this is 40 blood slaves. So like, I don't know, like, Close to, what is that, 55 blood slaves and then like 100 gems on a golem. Plus the fire and power, I guess, so 150. So definitely, it's not cheap, but it's not the most expensive golem I've ever seen. Alright, they show up a little bit late. And he takes the, takes the field. Is that, is that this guy? All right, and then Alkia. We have the Pan Army against some PB. Typhalia. A commander against one PD. Kills the Harpy. And runs. Okay. I was wondering if we might get something cool there. In Tenver, just piles of, what are they, storm guards? Then we go ahead and take Raytha, the PD there. Right? Yeah, so this is the underwater fort. No. This is sitting on the citadel. And then Satis attacks Aendra. Aendra? This is also a really cool golem. So it's got Caricator the Pocket Lich. I've never seen Ardman's Soul Trap used, and here it is. So we've got some Ghost Champions, uh, Earth and Fire Ghost Mages, Armor of Virtue. So he, you know, he'll go home if he gets hurt, and it also gives him Satis's nasty Hellbless. So it's a really cool artifact to put on him. He can magic phase with that. He has a lantern shield for some distractions. So he starts with three of these to go distract with Bane Burst. This guy, who's death five, probably can do a lot of skelly spam. Earth two, fire four, and earth two. So he's got some wood, some mages to help buff him and cast spells. And then he's also astral three. Against a little bit of PD. Alright, lots of skelly spam. Easy W. So this guy's actually trickier to attack than you would think because of the skelly spam part of it. And then even if you damage him, he just goes home. So definitely tricky to try and kill that. I think I had one plan that I thought might work, um, but it was super expensive, so hopefully I can come up with something different in the meantime. Then we've got Ullman Man, Scout against the Lich, it's not going to go well for him, and then Kalem and Patala. Just birds doing bird things. <laughs> Walls in this game. Goodness. Alright. Who's his 27 Storm Guard to take the fort?
Okay. Now, so I believe if you turn away, you can get a site that gives you gold for the rest of the game. We're going to go ahead and go for the gold now. We got some gold. And... Oh, we actually get a hero. So let's go look at that guy. So we get Demetrius. We're going to send him underwater. And he can research. He's a library founder. So he's got plus 18 adept researcher. So even though we've got order scales and this guy's a philosopher, he still goes for 37 a turn, which is phenomenal. So we'll use him for that until we really need him for combat. And then, all right, so what are we doing? Uh, sending these two guys away. I don't think any of our birds were able to sex successfully retreat. Yeah, because they were cut off. Yeah, they only had a... For some reason, yeah. They were cut off because it was in the magic phase and we didn't own this yet. And... Yay, someone owns a car. Okay. And... Yeah, I don't think a heck of a lot is going on here. We're starting to dome up certain important provinces. So we've got a forest dome here. We're going to put up a forest dome here on this throne. Thinking about putting up another one on this throne. Just trying to... Although maybe I don't put one up on this throne so we can teleport inside to try and help. Uh, other than that... We've already cleared the PD on this one, so just in case Caleb Knapp breaks us, um, we've got Vortex of Returning scripted on this lady. She's just over here. And uh, if we get hit by like bad indies, then we'll just be sad, because our whole army will go back up here. <laughs> it's kind of the idea. Um, but we will put this palisade under siege, and hopefully that goes okay. But we are very concerned about the Caleb Throne Rush because of the demands made over here. Uh, is vulturing a lot of man? Is vulturing Patala? So Caleb's kind of getting out of control. So the birds are definitely con a concern. The Satis Free Spawn engine is also definitely a concern. But uh, we're having to pick our battles tonight. Kind of convince, you know, convince people that having the throne rush potential of the birds is a bigger issue. And yeah, we've got our yeah, we've got our first lich, which is nice for sending the skull face back. Don't need it anymore. And yeah, I think that's it. Um, in terms of research, we're getting up over 4k a turn now, so we believe we can research level, uh, was that level 8s in basically one turn now, which is pretty huge. Close to it. We're going to move in patrol here, try and get these brigands out. I'm assuming that's related to this. And we're going to try and trigger this event again. I would like to get this this guy over here. And maybe I need to try and summon a dactyl over here to do that instead. But we need to try and get iron walls up. So, uh, however, we did not get our wish gems. The gems were alchemized for setting up the second wish caster so that's what's happening there and yeah i think that's it so we'll see if we can take the these two forts and then maybe we start the nap countdown timer again against Kalen. and maybe this time we don't take some arbitrary peace deal maybe this time we try and fight it out and hopefully with arco's help we can do in Calum. Maybe we can get some help from Satis as well. 
so because I think when Ulm and Satis manage to kill Man, I think what we're going to need is we're going to need both of them to fight each other, hopefully. Now it's entirely possible that Man attacks me or Satis attacks me instead, or Satis goes after Arco and Ulm goes after me. Sorry, not Man, but Ulm. Uh, I could totally see something like that happening. I'd probably get rolled by Ulm. But, I mean, if we're lucky, they'll let us try to fight the birds in peace, and they'll go after each other after they're done with man. And I do have a nap 10 with Ulm. Um, I think conceivably Ulm could try and win the game, or Ulm and Sitas could try and win the game without fighting me. Yeah, although I do control three thrones, so... It does make me a reasonable target for many people trying to win the game. Uh, Ulm just took the Throne of Bureaucracy, so Ulm is up to six points. Satis has four. Caleb has six, so he needs five more thrones. So that's kind of what we're looking at right there. And I will go ahead and see you in turn 66, because still kind of in this peaceful period. So I don't want to dwell on it too much, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.